Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh WRB here, bringing you a brand new review, and today I'm talking to you guys about whoop, the Lego Batman movie. Check this out yesterday with the family. Super excited to check this one out because I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the first one. That movie kind of came out of nowhere for me because when I first saw the trailer, I was like, holy crap, this looks like it could be really good, but it's a movie about Lego. So my expectations were pretty low and it just blew me away. And <laughs> watching that movie, I've seen it now at least five more times and it is just as funny every time. So going into this one, my expectations are now really high and this movie definitely met my expectations and more. This movie is so funny. It pokes fun at everything that DC is doing wrong in the DC universe right now. It it homages back to like all the different Batman posters in the last little while. There's jokes upon jokes upon jokes in this movie and it's just it's funny throughout. I remember um I was watching it and I <laughs> I'm obviously, I watched it on uh, the first showing of the day on a Sunday. So it was all families, nothing but little kids and stuff in the theater with me. But I was laughing harder and at more of the jokes than anyone else in the theater because <laughs> my wife turns to me and says like, you're enjoying this more than the kids are. And I was like, yes, I am 100% because it's not only uh, the jokes that the kids are going to get, but they also in infuse a ton of jokes making fun of the DC universe and other DC characters. And you really, you don't have to know this stuff in order to laugh at a, a lot of the jokes in this movie, but they, they put those in for the actual fans of the comics and the characters themselves. So it's it's a lot smarter than you think it's going to be. And it it is... I wish that the DC uh, cinematic universe would listen to the, the people producing these movies more because they understand all the faults and are poking fun at them and doing everything right for a DC Lego movie. So it is so funny. Um, Will Arnett as Batman is so perfect. Like he was one of my favorite parts of the Lego movie, but that whole ensemble cast for the first one was just so perfect. For this, it, it was more the same. Like Rosario Dawson's character was amazing as well as Michael Sarah as Robin. Like perfect for the way they made him like super geeky and super like vulnerable and stuff michael sarah's voice just came through so perfectly for this i adore this movie it is so funny it is it is just a blast too literally there's there's so much going on but it's not like a transformers movie where it's like what the heck is going on i don't know these uh, these animated movies just understand how to put stuff visually on the screen so you are just blown away it it, it is such a fun movie I can't wait for the the next Lego movie, the Ninjango or whatever it's called. I totally don't remember what it's called. The the next Ninja, I, I saw a trailer for the next Ninja one and they have, I think, Dave Franco uh, voicing the main character for that one and it just looks so funny as well. I just love this type of humor. It is just super, <laughs> it's just really, really funny. The only thing that I had wrong with this movie is in the first one, if you haven't seen it, this is a spoiler, obviously, but in the first one, it ends off where it takes, it breaks the fourth wall and Will Ferrell is actually in it as a human and the whole Lego thing is just setups in his basement with his kid and stuff. Where in, as in this one, they don't break that fourth wall, so you don't really know where this universe lays uh, within the first one, if this is just another kid's room or something because it because Batman was in the first one and it was voiced by Will Arnett uh it, it's kind of confusing on what is actually happening but I guess they don't really need to do that they can just keep going and going and going with these and I I hope they do do an actual just Lego movie too where they bring back all those characters and the kids and just to see where that type of storyline went but I guess they don't really need to do that that's just that's the only thing that I had literally wrong with this movie is what happened with that. I really wanted to see the extension of that story a little bit or a tie-in somewhat to the first one. Maybe maybe the, all they had to do was like mention that that actually happened. So this was so we knew what universe it was in, but that's that's a really small thing to be like have a downfall for this movie. It didn't take off any bottles for me. I was just really wondering how are they tying this in? How are they not? I don't know. It's so fun. Definitely go and see this one. This one's getting six bottles out of six from me. It's just so fun. I can't wait to watch it again. It's Batman and it's Lego. I loved Lego as a kid. I just love all comic book characters and stuff. So it was just inevitable that I was going to love this movie, I guess. So they did it right. 
It was number one at the box office for a reason. Definitely go and check this one out, guys. You will not be disappointed. It's so fun. That's all I got for today, guys. Let me know in the comments section down below what movie you saw this weekend or if you guys are even excited to see this movie. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to click this video you see on the screen. You might actually like it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a nice day, guys.